Okay, good morning. Uh, my name is Paul Taylor. I'm a product marketing manager from Skyworks Solutions. And I'm here today to talk about some of our new low noise amplifiers. And my colleague Dave Seed will be talking about high power pin diode switches. So Skyworks Solutions uh, is a large uh, $1.5 billion company. We've been serving the wireless uh, market for about 40 years as Connexent Wireless in also Alpha Industries. And we have about 4,500 employees and we have three primary manufacturing locations. Um, we were in Massachusetts where we have a fab for silicon diodes, um, gas p-hemp switches, attenuators. Uh, Newbury Park where we have a gas HPT fab primarily for power amplifiers. And Mexicali, Mexico where we have a very large assembly and test facility. Uh, Skyworks serves a variety of diverse markets from consumer uh, to military to medical, um, <coughs> wireless infrastructure, and we have a variety of products that serve that market. In particular, we're going to talk today about amplifiers and switches, but we also provide a wide variety of mixers, modulators, uh, phase shifters, attenuators, um, synthesizers, etc. So uh, today we'll just touch on a few products, but please uh, feel free to come by our booth later on, um, and we can show you the diverse product portfolio that we offer to the market. I'm going to talk about a few minutes about uh, low noise amplifiers, in particular a new product family of broad market amplifiers targeted towards the ISM bands. Uh, we recently did a press release on these and I'm going to go through and give you some highlights of the features of this new product family. Uh, basically this family covers 30 megahertz uh, to about 3 gigahertz. We also have additional LNAs that take us up to 6 gigahertz. Uh, our portfolio of LNAs can provide noise figure as low as a half a dB. We provide a wide range of, of gain levels from any from 12 to 38 dB, very high linearity designs, also very high uh, P1 dB, uh, high compression designs. Also, wide variety of <coughs> operating voltages from anywhere as low as 1.8 to 5 volts and a wide variety of current requirements. Um, and we also offer these in industry standard footprints um, with matching circuits that also are consistent throughout the product family. Uh, we have a dedicated team of LNA applications engineers that are 100% focused on LNAs, um, and they're, they're very eager to assist you with your design opportunities. So I'm going to jump in a, for a few minutes and talk about a one particular family of new LNAs, again, that we just released yesterday at the show. Uh, basically, these are a family of four ISM band-focused LNAs. 67015 is basically our VHF focused uh, ISM band LNA. The 67012 brings you into the UHF range. 67013 covers a broad range of 600 to 1500 megahertz. And then the 67014 uh, covers from about 1.5 to 3 gigahertz, and that would cover the 2.4 gigahertz ISM band. These LNAs are designed to improve your receiver sensitivity. Um, it, also provide very good selectivity and very good dynamic range. So I'm going to get into a little bit more details on the actual operating performance of this particular family of LNAs. As I mentioned earlier, they provide coverage from VHF all the way up to some of the LTE bands at 3 gigahertz. Very low noise figure, typically less than 1 dB. Um, high gain, anywhere from 12 to 16 dB, depending on the device type. Uh, linearities of as high as 25 dBm with just 15 milliamps of current, so they're very highly efficient. Uh, the current can also be adjusted over a wide range from less than 5 milliamps up to about 15 milliamps, so depending on what type of uh, battery life uh, you're trying to get out of the, um, <coughs> your receiver, we have a large op options of, of current uh, <coughs> ranges that, that we can help you with setting up your um, LNA for. Uh, also, they're all designed to be unconditionally stable and they have very simple external matching network of nine inexpensive, typically 0201 or 0402 components. And all four parts in this family are in a small uh, two by two millimeter DFN package, all pin and layout compatible with each other. Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of the performance characteristics from, in this case, we have swept from 800 to 960 megahertz. This is on the 67013. And as you can see, we have about 0.8 dB noise figure and we've shown the performance over minus 40 to 85, so it changes uh, very little. We also show the gain response, which has a nominal gain of about 14 dB at 900 megahertz. And we've centered the 
our return loss um, at 900 megahertz as well, we get typically about 20 dB uh, return loss in mid-band. Um, the other feature of this product family is you can, as I mentioned earlier, you can adjust the bias current anywhere from 1.8 to 3 volts. And also, we also have a 5 volt option as well. And you can see the corresponding um, delta in terms of P1dB and output IP3 as well. And all it requires is, is changing a simple uh, resistor value that our applications team can help you with. So to summarize, um, this new ISM band P-Hemp LNA family provides a high level of RF performance and supply flexibility in a small cost-effective package, enabling enhanced receiver sensitivity, selectivity, and long battery life. Parts were designed for general purpose cellular ISM band, VHF, and also L band applications, including public safety radio, Bluetooth, Femto, and Pico cells, uh, wireless sensors, and also smart energy. Uh, samples and evaluation boards are available for all four of these devices from our distribution partner, Richard, Richardson RFPD. Also, we have de embedded S parameters, ADS files, Gerber files. And our application engineering team is eager to help you with your design effort. Um, at this point, I'm going to hand the microphone over to Dave Seed. He's going to talk a little bit about our new family of high-power pin diode switches that we have also have announced at the show. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Dave Seed. I'm in the uh, product marketing team for discrete semiconductors at Skyworks. So what I plan to talk about here today is a new family of discrete SPDT high power pin diode switches. So as we look at the primary markets of infrastructure and military uh, mobile radio applications, there is an up and coming need for more and more higher power. That is within fail safe switching or general purpose TR switching. So as we look at these given applications of, of switching, the need for 50 watts, 100 watts, higher and higher power from uh, 20 megahertz up to 4 gigahertz is present. So what I am going to talk about are families of discrete devices as well as these SPDTs. So as we look at the evolution of, of discrete semiconductors, Skyworks has a large portfolio of PIN diodes, either used for switching or attenuator applications. We've taken a 2x2 two two QFN package and integrated a number of different PIN diodes in there developed a package, two different particular layouts. One is a series device, another is a shunt device. So with these two building blocks of series and shunt PIN diodes, that enables a design engineer quite a bit of flexibility to lay out a board in different series shunt configurations. We have adjusted our PIN diode various intrinsic epi layers, which results in different capacitance and different series resistance. So with our family, going from either a, a higher capacitance, low RS, or the SMP1345 is a very low capacitance PIN diode. That gives the engineer the ability to have a high isolation, low insertion lot um, family of switches. So th these packages are available as low cost surface mountable devices that work from DC up to six gigahertz and will handle up to 100 watts of power. So as we look at what Skyworks has done for integration, we have integrated a family of these diodes with L's and C's and other devices into a very small 4x4 four four millimeter um, surface mountable package. The first product that we went to market with was the Sky12207-478, which was targeted towards primarily TDD LTE fail-safe switching. Uh, and as you look at this particular curve here, it was targeted for and optimized for highest isolation at 2.6 gigahertz. This product does perform well from 900 megs to 4 gigahertz. So what we get with this particular product is a good high isolation, very low insertion loss, 0.4 dB integrated SPDT switch that will handle up to 50 watts. It is in production, samples are available, and we are shipping in volume. What our design team did next was optimize the next design to get a product that would work up to one, work up to 100 watts. 
So this next product, the SPD Sky 12210-478LF, is a 100 watt SPDC switch. Again, very low insertion loss, um, good isolation, 44 dBm, and um, can be used in a whole variety of um, fail-safe receiver protection applications for TDD, LTE, UMTS, and other um, GSM type um, requirements. It is available on, a, on an eval board, and we also do have a driver circuit I will talk about in a moment that does align with this particular eval board. As we, as we had launched these products, we then got more and more market demand for lower frequency, primarily UHF, VHF applications as low as 20 megahertz. So the Sky 12208-478 is a 50 watt SPDT switch that again has low insertion loss, good isolation, and performs all the way down to 20 megahertz. So this particular one is, in, is an SPDT targeted for military man pack radio applications. Samples are available for this part and it is on our website. So what this slide here is showing is what products we do have in production and what products we have in the development. So as we look at the products we ha I had talked about, the Sky 12207, 208, 210, those are all in production and released, but we do have the design efforts going on for symmetrical devices. So we're trying to extend this family of portfolio to more and more applications as, as if different layouts are, are needed. So again, these products are targeted towards base station, repeater, picocell, femtocell, um, instrumentation, UHF, VHF, private mobile radio applications. So with this family of SPDT switches, you do need a driver circuit. So our application team did work very closely um, with the design team and developed a very nice eval board that does mirror up to the eval board of the SPDT switch with a driver circuit that covers all of the products that were previously talked about. There's a very nice application note that's been put together. This is available online. Or well, please um, stop by the Skyworks uh, booth and we'd love to talk to you about these. So in closing on this, this series of integrated 50 and 100 watt switches provide excellent power handling and isolation with broadband performance from 20 megahertz to 4 gigahertz. The combination of very low insertion loss, 0.4 dB of these switches in the antenna to RX mode minimizes the effect of receiver noise figure. So they are, they are ideal for fail-safe switching in TDD LTE base station, repeater, UHF, VHF radio, public safety, land mobile radio, and general purpose high power TR switching applications. Samples and evaluation boards are available through our distribution partner, Richardson, and local representation of Direct Skyworks team. So for more information on this complete diode whether it's a discrete device or this family of SPDT switches, we welcome you to please visit our website or please stop by the booth. Thank you.